It's almost May, it's the start of spring. And while I don't have any pieces yet from Selkie's current spring summer collection, which is gorgeous, um, I do want to talk about some pieces that I got from their spring summer collection last year. The collection was called I'm Alive, based around the last unicorn. <laughs> I just loved it. And I got probably too many pieces from it, but that is a great excuse for me to review them for you and style some of them today. So the first piece I'm gonna show you is the Le Chou tutu skirt. Um, fun fact, Le Chou means cabbage, <laughs> and you can kind of see why they named it that. It is just a super, super frilly, ruffles everywhere tutu skirt. I have worn this out and gotten so many compliments on it. It's just so unique, but at the same time, it's wearable. So when Selkie styled it, they did it with this classic um, white tank top with some ruffle detail, but I'm always trying to add black to an outfit. So I've got it on right now with this um, kind of corset style cropped top. And there's a little bit of the pale pink that matches the strawberry milk color of the skirt. It's true to size. There's a zip up the back, but it also has some elastic, which uh, not all of the silky skirts do. I wouldn't size up or down. I would stay with your true size, but just know that you can actually eat in it <laughs> and you'll be fine. I had one of the ballroom skirts. I actually got the ballroom skirt and dopamine which is from the same collection. And I sold it because it did not fit at all in my size. It felt it, I, like I couldn't even zip it up. There was no stretch at all. To go with the Le Show Tutu is a jacket. This is the boa jacket, which is obviously, you know, the same ruffles, the same material, also in the strawberry milk color. I found it really difficult to style these together and not just look like a big puff ball. <laughs> I love both pieces, but I prefer styling them separately. Not to beat this idea to death, <laughs> but I love a selkie pullover and I think it adds a nice casual element to what could otherwise feel like a really dressed up skirt. This is another Vixen piece that I have. I'll do a Vixen video soon. I'm totally getting, you know, cheerleader with her Letterman jacket vibes from this outfit and I really like it. What do you think? Does it work? If you have an opinion, let me know in the comments. So I wanna introduce the Flutter Slip Dress in Dopamine from the same I'm Alive collection. This slip was like the piece from the collection that I was most excited about. I love this dopamine print. I think it is so pretty. And if anything looks like a woman turned unicorn to me, it's this. I got my normal extra large. I got it hemmed and I've never actually worn it. I wish I had sized up. It is a good fit, you know, if you look at it from the back. The bust is a nice fit. I got the length fixed. I think the sleeves are fine, but right here, it's just too tight for my comfort. Another note, I'm wearing shapewear under this as well. So even with shapewear, I, I don't think this looks very flattering and I'm not comfortable in it. Even though it doesn't fit me well, it is so soft and I still love the color scheme. The flutter slip is something that Selkie is still releasing in different prints. And I think it's always a beautiful piece. Uh, and I love the way Selkie styled it in this collection with the boa jacket. I'm going to show you what it looks like with the boa jacket on. So the boa jacket is not one that I would zip up and it's not one that I would necessarily use for warmth. It really is for style. Worn like this, unzipped, or even off the shoulder, like a more classic boa, is just so unique and beautiful and feminine. This is a much more casual dress that I thrifted, much less formal than the flutter slip, which is 100% silk and just gorgeous. Any uh, vintage slip dress or anything with this kind of like sheeny, shiny material would work or anything in the right color scheme. But this outfit and this skirt in particular, I feel like is just a more toned down version of the Le Chou Tutu. 
So I think it adds a little bit of a casual balance to the boa jacket. These are my badass vintage pants. I think it's just kind of a fun combination. Good girl, bad girl. And I don't have a pair, but I think that this jacket would probably pair super well with a pair of faux leather high-waisted shorts. Maybe I'll pick some up and try it with that. I do like this look. This next piece has ended up being my favorite Selkie piece. It might be my favorite piece of clothing I've ever owned. <laughs> this is the Mill Foy skirt in the Butter Rose print. If you look at the I'm Alive um, runway show, there was this milfoy skirt that was a long version of the La Choux Tutu. I have always loved this Butter Rose print. I'm still waiting for Selkie to re-release the Butter Rose terrace gown and soft corset because I would just snap those up in a heartbeat. They've been impossible for me to find. They sold this at uh, one of their online sample sales. I was able to snag it. It was too big. It was a 2X. I had it altered, so now it's the perfect length. This fits perfectly now. And... I still haven't worn it, um, but I'm going to a wedding in June. So I think I finally have an occasion to, to premiere it in public. And I am just so excited. It's huge and ruffly and pretty and a head turner of a skirt. It had a matching top when they wore it on the runway. I wasn't able to snag the top. I think for the wedding, I might pair it with a brown or like bronzy colored corset. I can't believe they didn't release <laughs> the Milfoy skirt because I think it's my favorite piece of clothing I've ever owned. This one is the antique slip dress in tall glass. It's silk, so it's extremely soft. This is a really comfortable piece. It's true to size and, you know, meant to be more of a swing dress. So nice and loose. It is lined. Um, it is short, so you can see I put on a pair of uh, pink bloomers underneath of it. These bloomers are awesome. They're hundred percent linen. I'll put the link below if you're interested. Anything underneath of it just to make you feel a little more secure because of the length. When Selkie styled it, they did it with uh, their ruffle capes. It was really, really pretty. A perfect summer date night outfit, but I'm going to style it a few different ways to just show you something different. Because this is such a versatile little slip dress. You can pair it with pretty much any style of kimono or a little ballet bolero. One of Selkie's soft corsets would look good with it. This one is in the summer home print in an extra extra large and it adds a little bit of shape and you can throw a jean jacket over it and just make it really super casual. Throw a long sleeve lace top underneath. It's amazing even though the top is technically see-through, you feel so much less exposed with just something underneath of this one. You could also add a layer over top. This is one of Free People's lace slips and even layer the corset right on top of that. This is the Portrait of a Lady dress. It is a silk cotton blend. It's the Twinkie color. I wasn't and I'm still not totally positive that this color works for me. I'm not sure this cut works for me either. Um, this is an extra, extra large because I had an extra large and I found that the waist is pretty tiny and my waist is not. I do love this neckline. I think this is a really cute modern take on a Victorian or even like an Old West style top. There are three layers to the skirt and it's a high back that just zips up the middle. You can see it's very short on the sides. So again, I have my bloomers on, but it is longer in front. So it doesn't feel like you are revealing anything when you wear it. So for this one, again, I'm throwing on a trusty jean jacket. This one came from the thrift store and a pair of Western style boots. And I love the neckline with this style. If I was going to do a blazer with this one, I would definitely stick with something very light and airy, like a linen or a linen blend, and probably a print to go better with the solid. Since this is such a spring summery dress, 
you would probably never pair it with like any corduroy velvet or wool coat, but I do like a nice khaki trench coat with it. Those are my pieces from Silky's I'm Alive collection. Some of them I really, really love to this day. The more roughly pieces have definitely stood the test of time for me. Pieces I thought I would love, I didn't love so much, or I didn't like the fit, and you know, some I'm just okay with. Tell me what pieces you got from the I'm Alive collection. Leave me a comment and let me know how you style things. I would love to know. See you soon.